To be able to read and interpret scales, I always need to know how much each jump is worth. So the easiest way to do that is to find out what the whole group is worth. So the difference between 1,000 and 2,000. So to do this, I would do 2,000, take away 1,000, which equals 1,000. So I know this whole line is worth 1,000. Then I need to count how many jumps there are. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So the second part will be to divide the total value by how many jumps there are, which will give me 100. So now I know each jump is worth 100. So to work out where this arrow is, I would do 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. So let's look at the second example. The whole thing is worth 1, because 1 take away 0 is 1. There are, again, 10 jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 1 divided by 10 is 1 tenth, or 0 0.1. So then I would go 0 0.1, 0 0.2, or 2 tenths. Next one, this time this is the whole thing is worth 0 0.1 and there's 10 jumps. So it's a tenth divided by 10, which is going to give us a hundredth. So each one is worth a hundredth. So I've got 100th, 200th, 300th, 400th, 500th, 600th, 700th, which would be 0 0.07. Next example, 6,000 take away 4,000 gives us 2,000. So the whole thing is worth 2,000. Jumps, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 2,000 divided by 10 equals 200. So each jump is worth 200. So I'm doing 200, 400, 600. And it would actually be 4,600. Because remember, I wasn't starting at zero. So that would be 4,000, 4,200, 4,400, 4,600. Next one, 8.5 take away 7.5 equals 1. And there's 10 jumps. So 1 divided by 10, we already know, is 0 0.1. So I'm going up in 0 0.1s. So 7.5, 7.6, 7.7, 7.8, 7.9, 8, 8.1, 8.2, 8 8.3, 8.4. For these examples, I need to do exactly the same. So I need to look at the area it's in. So for this one, 0 to 100 is 100. There are 10 jumps, so I divide by 10. So each small jump is worth 10. I can then see that the arrow is pointing to the fifth one, so that is going to be 50 grams. On this example, 8 to 900 is 100. Again, there's 10 jumps, so each small jump is going to be worth 10, and it's the first jump, so it's going to be 810 grams. You always need to know what each jump is worth. Have a go at reading the values on this scale. When you're ready for the answers, press play for the next slide and mark your work. OK, so to work this one out, the first thing we need to do is take one of the large areas which we know is worth 100. And there are five jumps. 100 divided by 5 is 20. So each line is going up 20. The first one is nice and easy. It's just pointing at 100. So I know that's 100 grams. My second one here is pointing at this line. So I start on 600 and I'm going up in 20s. So 620, 640, 660, so that's going to be 680 grams. My next one, again, starting at 300, going up in 20s, 320, 340. 340 grams. My next one is pointing at 500 grams. This one 
9, 9, 20, 9, 40, 940 grams. And my last one, 220, 40, 260. So 260 grams.